hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is zita and on this channel i share with you my relaxed hair journey and some of my diys in today's video i will share with you how i make my best ayurveda hair oil for hair growth so guys stay tuned to see how i achieve mine first you'll be needing a mason jar where you'll be placing all your ingredients the first ingredient i'm going to add in it will be my fenugreek seed which i'll add about two to three tablespoons Fenogrix helps to prevent bladeness, hair thinning, and it's also very high in protein and nicotinic acid content, which helps to prevent hair fall and also dandruff. The next ingredient will be my henna powder. And the henna powder I like to use is a Nupur henna powder. Guys, I wish I pronounced that right. Henna helps to promote hair growth. It also repairs and fortifies the hair. I really like this henna and that's the only henna I've ever used for my hair ayurveda hair oil because it comes with nine additional herbs and some of the herbs include the minty itself which is fenugreek enam powder aloe vera amla powder the shikaka and other herbs that i'm going to leave all of them in the description box and how it helps to promote hair growth and the benefit it has on the hair i really really like this henna guys if you are not new to my channel you know i said this is the best brand for me because it really works so well and then guys i'm going to go ahead and add half a cup of my castor oil castor oil also if you're on a hair journey and you have not tried castor oil please try castor oil it stimulate hair growth especially when combined with other career oils due to the presence of vitamin E and fatty acid in it also. It also stimulates blood circulation and strengthens the hair from the root. The next oil I'm going to be adding will be our olive oil, which I'm also going to be adding half a cup of olive oil. It helps to prevent dry scalp. It penetrates and moisturizes the scalp, causing hair to grow in thicker st strands. It also reduces scalp dryness. And of course, olive oil also promotes hair growth. Next, I'll be adding coconut oil into my mixture. Coconut oil helps to strengthen, moisturizes the hair, add lustres and shine to the hair. Guys, I'll only be adding 3 tablespoons of coconut oil. And that's just because I've noticed that during the colder month, my hair tends to be very, very dry if I use a lot of coconut oil. And I know some people like coconut oil and some people don't. So if you feel like your hair is dry or you're not sure why your hair is dry and you know you're using coconut oil, try to take it out for a while and see how your hair will react to it. As for me, during the winter season, my hair does not love coconut oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together. You can add avocado oil if you like it. You can add a organ oil if you like it but out of the time i was making this oil i didn't have all of those oil with me so i worked with what i have and trust me i always see great result even when i use less oil you just need to make sure you know the oils that your hair likes use them and you'll still see amazing result you don't need to have all the oils you see on youtube to have amazing results guy so next i'm going to add few drops of our essential oil so i'll use peppermint oil and I'll also be using lavender oil. Peppermint oil helps to stimulate hair growth and it also helps to treat the scalp, especially when it comes to itchiness. The next oil I will be using will be our lavender oil. And guys, lavender oil helps to also promote hair growth, increase blood circulation. So I'm just going to drop 10 drops of each and then mix it very well I let it sit at a dark corner for about a week, guys. I let mine sit for about a week. You can let it sit for two to three days and it's ready to be used. But I just want to get all the benefit of it. So as said before, I'm just going to close it and I let it sit for about a week. And then I start to use my oils. But in between that, if I feel like I need my oil, I'm going to start using it. But I'm not going to take all of it at the same time. I'm going to take bit by bit. So this is the before and this is our henna mix one week later on. As you can see, everything has settled to the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my applicator bottle. Then I'll pour everything into it, guys. One thing I would like you to know is that the amount of henna you use, the darker your henna oil will look like. So if you use just a little bit of henna, yours won't be this dark. And for example, if you use a lot of henna and then you also use avocado oil, which is a bit darker, 
then your yours will be darker but it really doesn't change anything if you like to pass it through a a cheesecloth that would be great if not for me i really don't have a problem with the color i really didn't have any uh, henna residue in it so guys i'm just going to pour it into my applicator bottle and i use this to massage my scalp every other day and i also use it as a hot oil treatment so if you want to see how i use it as a hot oil treatment give this video a thumbs up and in my next video i'll show you how i do my hot oil treatment with my ayurveda oil this oil is amazing so thank you guys so much for watching and if you try this oil let let me know in the comment section how it works for you and thank you very much for watching bye